Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley, putting the power and knowledge of your health back in your hands. I met a very friendly, um, very smart young man recently. He's just about to graduate with a certificate in carpentry from a local um, trade school. Um, and he's got big plans for what he wants to do with that. And um, uh, we had just met and I said I was a chiropractor and he goes, huh, how do I know if I need a chiropractor? I said, well, I gotta tell you, uh, at my office, we see a lot of people in the trades. Uh, we see a lot of electricians, a lot of concrete workers, roofers, uh, carpenters for sure, uh, pipe fitters, and uh, plumbers. And the reason is, is that when you're doing that type of work, you're reaching, pulling, pushing, lifting, um, hauling, um, a climbing. Um, and that's just a normal day. That's not even when things go wrong. And so with that heavy work comes the possibility that the vertebrae of the spine will misalign uh, or the, 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 uh, the bones of the pelvis will shift or misalign. And then it's just a matter of time before that start, you start to feel it and it slows you down. It makes you less productive in your work. It makes you less likely to be able to pay attention to what you're doing so then the likelihood of injury or mistakes is amplified. Uh, so at my office, I have what I call my dirty man hour. And that's when I see all my trades and they come in with covered in sawdust. They come covered in uh, drywall dust and paint, dirt. Uh, I'm on, uh, I'm on the, in Indiana, I'm on the, the outskirts of uh, subdivisions, though we see a lot of farmers, uh, a lot of um, uh, farmers that work in the fields that have cattle or have livestock. Um, so we see all kinds of things in our dirty man hour. And there are many of them that are younger that just want to prevent injuries from occurring. Uh, or undo what happens to them in their day to day. And then there are those people who are getting towards the end of their career. And they'll say to me, Dr. Nancy, I've got five years left before I get my pension. I've got two kids in college. Please just keep me going. And that's what we do. We see them fairly frequently. It could be once a month. It could be once a week, just to make sure that their body will hold up as they finish their career and they'll have their health once they do retire so they can do some things that they enjoy. I also want to share with you um, this screenshot of this is a spinal nerve chart and I like to call this my kindergarten neurology chart and um, obviously our nerve system is uh, maybe not obviously but our nervous system is our brain our spinal cord and our nerves and our brain controls and coordinates all function, all function, everything. I tell the kids, it's like a big computer in your head. And the messages from your brain get to your body by going down inside the spinal cord, in the spinal cord, which is inside the spine, the vertebrae protect it. Then in, in between each vertebrae, I don't know if you can see this, but there's small canals and the nerve roots come out from there. And then those nerves go everywhere because every part of our body has to be under con the control of the nerve system. So this chart, like I said, this is a kindergarten neurology chart. If you look at the upper part of the spine, the cervical spine, that's our neck. In the upper neck, that's the nerves to everything from our chin up. So eyes, ears, nose, face, um, even things like our immune system is housed here. And because it affects the brain, these nerves affect the brain stem, that's patterns of our body, like sleeping pattern, eating pattern, heart rate, blood pressure, foods, and then there's also our balance and coordination area. As we get to the lower neck, that's the nerves to our shoulders, arms, hands, wrists, upper back, our voice, our swallowing mechanism, So, uh, and also our thyroid gland. So if there's a problem in the lower neck with one of our trades people, they might literally be dropping their hammer they might feel like they have pain in their shoulder all the time. They might not have the mobility in their arms or in their wrists or in their neck in order to look up or look down. Um, then if we go lower to the central area of the spine, this is a thoracic spine, the mid back, 
This is nerves that go to the heart and lungs, that go to the inner, the, the, our internal organs, like gallbladder, like liver, like stomach. And then get a little bit lower. This is the pancreas, spleen, adrenal glands, kidneys, small intestines. These are things that we shouldn't ordinarily think about. But when you ha start having trouble there, you might find that there is a misalignment of the spine that's affecting the nerve that feeds that organ. Now here's the lower back, and this is where the primarily um, uh, the people that I see that are tradesmen primarily they're going to problems with the lower back, um, whether it's from uh, sitting in trucks or working heavy equipment or the lifting or falls, who knows why, but this is the nerves that go to the bladder, colon, reproductive organs, the lower back, the discs of the lower back, hips, legs, knees, feet. So, um, so the message is that one person, let's say with a problem with one of the lower back nerves might just have pain. Another person might have spinal degeneration, also called disc degeneration, arthritis or slip disc. And another person might have um, intestinal problems. It, and my job is to do the same thing. No matter where the misalignment of the spine is, no matter what nerve is affected, my job is to find that and fix it so your body can function like it needs to. So your body can heal, so your body can improve function instead of degenerating every day. My job is to get your body to do the work and heal itself. So yes, if you are in the trades out there, if you're just starting, if you're halfway through your career, or if you're finishing up your career, Yes, you need a chiropractor. And I do have a video on how to find the best chiropractor for you. And I will link it. So I hope that helps. Be well. Bye for now.